Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will demonstrate a new feature called new financial dimension sets. And the feature name, the exact feature name is performance enhancement for general ledger dimension set variance calculation. So this feature is all about a new, I would say, a new, you know, methodology or the, you know, the framework is almost our concept is very same, but the back end you know the framework is quite different than the previous old financial dimension set and which actually results you know if you don't follow this configuration <clears throat> correctly then there will be a lot of <clears throat> challenges i must say a lot of users will start complaining they will say my balance is not matching in the trial balance why we will talk so before i you know jump into the demo so i would i would like to talk about this concept in a very detailed manner that this feature is basically if you see from the microsoft documentation that it is saying that when you turn on this feature the process of creating new balance is initiated this process might take several hours if the amount of transactional data is large it's the first time setup they are talking about and then reports and inquiries that use dimension set won't be available until the process is completed so it is very i mean when you turn on this feature that will start you know changing the methodology from legacy to the new framework and you can view the status on the dimension set page so if i you know talk about the framework this this how it working basically i will go to this uh dynamic system financial operation so if you are 10 or 38 or 10 or 30 i mean more than 10 or 38 this feature will be available in feature management which is performance enhancement uh, what i will do we will just copy paste this feature yeah so this feature they're talking about so now if i jump into the general ledger model and financial dimension set chart of accounts dimensions financial dimension sets so you will notice this framework is very similar this and all and everything is same but in the action pane you will see the new new you know fields which is balance status and enable balance previously there was other thing you know initiate and all rebuild but from now it will be like enable disable balances and balance data so how it is working basically so when you have a financial dimension set okay when you create a new financial dimension set if you will see there will be a create balance or enable balance okay so maybe test so if i just then you can click on enable balances so they will enable the balance like previously was i mean the similar kind of concept was there okay but the new thing the microsoft has introduced which is a balance status so what it is doing basically if you click on this balance status then it will bring all the legal entities uh legal details number and it will state status ready or not and when it was last updated okay so what it is saying basically it is saying that this financial dimension is said is basically running in the background as per the batch configuration when you say batch configuration where that is very much crucial for you to know what batch it is doing the calculation because just assume that some user has posted a transaction and that actually depends on the batches if the batch runs then only the trial balance data will be updated we will see this you know you know scenario in detail so that's how it will tell you it is ready legal entity wise and when it was last updated okay so if you click on rebuild balances it will rebuild and it will change the last updated date so it is basically changing the you know frequency changing the i would say date and time and it has to be very frequential because it is not like that once in a day this batch will run then it, if it happens then user will start complaining that today they have posted 1 million but those balance are not seen in the trial balance right this is very much important if you don't follow this batch process or batch setup correctly then your balance you know will not match in the trial balance that we will see right now so what we will do uh, before that i will just describe see if here is disable balance if you go to this cost center and all there will be a enable balance when you create it and if from there in the balance status it will be there 
and there are other things also microsoft has mentioned uh, what from these enable balance disable balances rebuild balances so if you see the delete a dimension set if you no longer require a dimension set you can use the delete button to remove it don't delete and recreate dimension sets as a workaround for potential issues with the balance data for a specific dimension set so they are particularly saying that if there is a data issue don't just delete and recreate for the sake of data issue recreation of a dimension set it is costly okay for help so that's actually you know making it mandatory that if if you face any data issue don't just you know like we do for the windows server right we just restart it so don't do that wait for it solve it then only it will work otherwise recreation of dimension set is costly from the data point of view okay so that's what i wanted to uh, discuss and then what we will see we learn trial balance okay and we will see the potential use case where you will you you may where you can face some lot of complaints from the user or there will be data discrepancy if you don't follow this process correctly <clears throat> okay so now if you notice this 110 110 this account have we having 12000 debit and this is the credit so what we will do we will just post a general entry general general entry to see how it is updating or not so let me just go to these lines <clears throat> i will use it 47 and we will post another 40 to 12000 and we we'll take uh, expense okay and we'll post it sweat it's posted so now our our expectation or user expectation will be it will be updated trial balance will be updated with 12000 and 12000 debit which is 12 24000 now so if we just run this trial balance you will notice one thing let it be completed if you see the 12000 is still there that means 12000 he's posted but it has not been updated in the trial balance so if you click on this debit here you will see the sum the transaction entry is posted to 24000 but this trial balance is not updated is not updated even if in the general ledger module your batch status is asynchronous then also it will not work that is a new change and you have to be very careful when you upgrade the version to the 1038 and 39 40 from now you have to be very much careful otherwise the users balance will not match it will match still it will match but you know it it can delay the process so it will be an issue right so how it works basically it is basically working with the process automation framework however there is no process automation you know segment or area we need to configure is just we need to make sure that process automation batch is running frequently see here process automation there is a batch called process automation polling job is a system batch okay for the dat legal entity it is a one one for all the legal entity So if you see it is in waiting but if you see the recurrence it is in 1 hour 2 hour so it's obvious that if you post now it will take 2 hours maximum to update the trial balance so by that time user will be confused and user can get incorrect data from the trial balance right so either you have two options we have two options one either you make this process automation polling batch is very frequent which is 1 minute 2 minute 5 minute 10 minute whatever however there is a potential impact because this process automation polling job not only updating the trial balance this is up, this is doing many things like process automation framework collection process automation a lot of other things this is updating right so you need to make sure that whether you agree to decrease this frequency to 1 minute or 2 minute for this for this one if you see okay i can't do that we can't do that because there is other impact maybe some other data will be very frequent which is not required so for that you still have a process that you don't make this process automation polling job very frequent rather there is another batch you can configure which is particularly about this general ledger balances general ledger balance calculation which is this one in my systems so if we go into this batch 
if you see there's a that is the class name is general ledger balance process so it only updates the balance of this ledger so if you don't want to make the process automation batch frequent you can only configure this one let the process automation batch as same as it is at the same time to make the trial balance calculation or the ledger calculation faster you make create this batch and then make it one minute or two minute at a very frequent process so here recurrence is one minute okay what i will do i will just still before doing that what i will do i will still uh, show you the trial balance data so that you can get to know that trial balance is still not updated even if it has been two minutes or three minutes we have i have been talking right so if you go to general ledger trial balance run trial balance see it is still 12000 okay so what you will do we will go and enable this batch change the status to waiting okay click on waiting so now it is what i will do in the one minute frequent frequency this batch will keep on updating the balance so now you don't have any issue so if you just wait uh, till the time this batch completes the calculation process okay this is now waiting that means one time this has run so what we will do we will run this trial balance once again now to see whether this balance has been updated or not see this balance is updated so in very gist in very detail or in one shot if i talk that if you are upgrading your system between 38 and more above then you have to make sure you know before your user you know get into a travel they they get a incorrect report and send it to management you need to make sure that your process automation batch is working in a correct time and if you don't want to change that time or frequency you can create this batch which will only update the ledger balance you know in frequent manner and then your data will be correct okay and say suppose you have you are facing some challenges sometime you need to troubleshoot you double troubleshoot this issue for one time so the if you remember this uh, rebuild and you know calculation of financial dimension sets it's still there but in a different name which is balance if you go to balance status if you want to change if you want to run this for that time you can just click on rebuild balance so that is a troubleshooting option you, you still have and if you want to disable the balance you can disable the balance so that's what you need to make sure this trial balance calculation or ledger balance calculation is working perfectly with this new framework this framework is basically making the process very efficient okay this is the performance improvement and very important very small but very important i would say i hope this video have, will be helpful for you in your engagement you will be able to solve your issues if you, if you face these issues um that's it for now thank you for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now